how fast can you run as you age that's a question that's come up many times on the channel so let's look at the answers at a very young age you're not going to be able to run as fast as you can in your mid 20s and then as you approach your mid 30s you're going to slow down so what are the reasons at a very young age you're obviously not big enough and don't have the musculature that will enable you to exert the force necessary to run fast however having said that at certain times whilst developing there are what's known as skills and sports performance windows which enable the body to respond particularly well to the focus of training so if that focus is speed then there are two particular speed windows for young athletes now i'm putting those on the screen now so you can take a look at them it's during those periods when the body as i've said the young developing body will be more responsive to developing greater speed now that doesn't mean that those are exclusive only times when you can develop speed however be mindful that sports science indicates that developing speed qualities at those particular times will pay dividends in the future as an athlete approaches their mid to late teens then of course speed potential dynamically improves and as you've seen at the recent world junior championships superb running can be achieved by under 20 athletes it's when the athlete is in their early to mid 20s when generally speaking sprinters and sprint speed is optimized that's because the sprinter will have developed the necessary technique mental capacities you've got to remember that the mind is crucial for dealing with performance anxiety and developing the confidence to produce speed and they'll have the musculature the muscle size in order to produce the power needed to generate great speed central to sprinting whatever the athlete's age is fast twitch muscle fiber as it turns out the majority of us are born with an equal distribution between fast and slow twitch varieties 45 to 55 percent being the range incidentally research has indicated that the very elite 100 meter 200 meter sprinters do possess greater quantities of fast twitch muscle fiber compared to slower sprinters for example however as i've said the ability to boost your speed no matter what your age or fiber type is possible so basically that means it's how we train which will determine how fast we become so you need to utilize obviously a very focused sprint orientated training program so what happens when you pass 30 well the nerves that control innovate to use a physiological term fast twitch motor units start to die off very slowly the process speeds up as you go past 40 so what this means is that the body is less able to generate speed and power because it can't connect with the fast twitch muscle fibers that it does have now you don't suddenly lose all that fast twitch ability overnight if you maintain your training and your specific speed and power training for sprinting long jumping triple jumping then that decline in fast twitch muscle fiber is going to be very very gradual you can see that by the number of sprinters and jumpers who continue to perform at world-class level into their mid 30s and indeed a couple of sprinters have run under 10 seconds after turning 40 kim collins being a prime example now from what i understand post 40 you can expect a 10 percent decline in speed performance potential for every decade that passes if you continue to train specifically for speed then you can offset that decline as you can see from the great performances throughout the master rankings in terms of the 100 meters for example with i believe the world record for a 50 year old being 10.6 Plus, as I said at the beginning of the video, when referring to younger athletes, no one is going to age exactly the same as another person. So, one person's speed potential may be greater than somebody else's, simply because of their specific physiological abilities and their aging. 
nobody, as I said, will age the same. It's often best to adopt a less is more approach when it comes to training in your middle years, should you be in your 40s, 50s and beyond. Always consider that that last extra rep might not be necessary. If you're running well in a session, then don't force extra speed, just relax, stop the session and live to move on to another session. Important to maintain your plyometric reactive abilities for as long as you can, as leg stiffness is crucial to continuing to run fast. In fact, it's the ability to improve, increase, maintain stride length that reduces as you age. The ability to move the legs quickly does not diminish as significantly. It's the ability therefore to hold on to your stride length that is crucial when it comes to aging and sprinting. If there's sufficient interest in this subject that's aging and sprinting, then I'll make a more detailed video where I tell you more specifically about the type of training that you need to do in your 40s and beyond to remain quick. Next week, at the time of making this video, I'm going to be in Munich, Germany, supporting Jahisha Thomas, who's competing for Great Britain in the European Athletic Championships. The qualifying round is on the Tuesday, and all being well, she'll be in the final on Thursday night. So do check that out if you're watching this video at the appropriate time. And I'd also like to thank all those that have helped me financially get to Germany. Look out for some more regular updates, perhaps through Instagram stories and YouTube stories as to my travels into Germany and the watching of Jahisha perform. So if you've any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video, then as usual, leave a comment in the section below. And please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so you'll know when I upload new content and do give this video a thumbs up. As usual, good luck with any competitions you've got coming up and your training and do check out the members area on my site where you can gain access to exclusive videos. Interested in the extremely portable and accurate free lap timing system, then do drop me a message. The system is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and can time end times and split times. And if you like the Jump Squad merchandise, go to any of the channel's videos and click on the store underneath and you can get a 15% discount if you use the code JUMP15. If you're interested in finding out more about Theraguns and the Theragun Elite in particular, check out the video on the channel and also look out for special offers and discounts. It's great device, Bluetooth enabled, multiple speeds and great for rehab.